Hi, this is Matt Finch, and I'm recording uh, from the uh, middle of Hurricane Harvey, which is now Tropical Storm Harvey, and at the moment it's not raining, and hopefully the uh, the lights aren't going to go out. If they do, you're not going to see this video. Um, as you may know, at, at the present time, uh, Frog God Games is running a Kickstarter called Quest of Doom 4. Uh, it's made up of 16 different adventures, and a bunch of people have asked, where are these loca where are these adventures located on the Lost Lands campaign map? And so uh, I've done, I did one for Awakenings back when that was the only one where I had the canon section available for it. I've done a second one to list the adventures that are located on our Gulf of Akados region map. Um, and now I'm going to do the list of the adventures that are located on the Sinar Coast region map. Um, so uh, those region maps, in case you're not familiar with it, you know, they're just part of the Lost Lands uh, campaign stuff. I think you can get them uh, from Frog God in poster size, and definitely the PDFs are available. Um, so we're going to talk, um, I'm just going to run through the different adventures out of that set of 16 that are located on the, uh, the Sinar Coast region map. Uh, the first one of those, <coughs> excuse me, the first one of those is Fishers of Men uh, by Tom Knaus, and that is uh, an adventure for six level characters, and it begins in, and I have real difficulty with this whole thing because what I'm seeing on my computer screen uh, is not a mirror, it's the way people see me, so I always try and move my hand in the opposite direction um, from the way I think it's going to go, uh, which means that uh, some of these are. A little approximate looking, but let's open up the um, the map here. Here's the uh, the region map, and hopefully this is visible. Okay, this area that I'm showing right here, and um, so we've got uh, East Reach Province over here, and then this coastline down around here. Okay, this is where uh, the adventure Rappanathic is located and up here a little bit um, 75 miles or so up the river there is a tiny settlement called Zelkor's Ferry which is also the um, the first level adventurer entrance to Rappanathic. Zelkor's Ferry is also the starting point or one of the proposed starting points for um, uh, for fishers of men um, and then the uh, the exact location of Kright fishery I'm not sure because it wasn't mentioned uh, in the summary but th there you're looking at the at the region where it's in so for those who are curious fishers of men is going to be um, right smack in the Rappanathic uh, adventuring area um, and so there's there's that one and then um, so the feel for that uh, you know is um, What's the best way to describe rather? I mean, that's that's really basically just a swords and sorcery type of area in a in a Western European kind of context, and even that whole Western European thing isn't really clear. That that area you can make into whatever you want it to be, really. Um, the the adventure itself is um, one of those situations where something happens somewhere, and you go to find out what it is and uh, uh, location based and so on and so forth so that's um, that's Fishers of Men and it's the first one uh, again it's by Tom Knaus. The next one on the list and these are in no particular order they're just when I took them from the the Kickstarter descriptions um, the missing pin is one by Alex Kammer um, and that one is um, okay let's draw where that is. This is in the Unclaimed Lands, the area known as the Unclaimed Lands where the Amarin River meets the Glimril Run. And so that is going to be right here. Um, this intersection of these two rivers right here. So you can see also, this is not particularly far from Zelkor's Ferry. The, the hexes on this map are 50 miles. So um, they are they are very very big hexes, but in terms of getting there, uh, is relatively close in the campaign. Same kind of area. Uh, it's still in East Reach, East, East Reach Province. Um, East Reach is a uh, sort of a fun area because the entire government of it is utterly and completely corrupt, and that can uh, can come in and, and make for some fun situations too if they're moving back and forth between the two of them. Missing Pin is for adventurers of. Um, second to fourth level so I guess actually yeah you could use that probably coming in um, you know from that river intersection there you could probably start the characters off 
uh, with the missing pin if you wanted to and then end them up uh, sort of headed towards Zelcor's Ferry and then move down to Rappanathic. That actually might be a, a potential series of things there depending on how you wanted to set it up. Uh, missing pin has a pretty simple um, concept. It is a low-level adventure. That one, you're um, you're tracking down the details of a jewel theft, um, and then things get more complicated. Um, so uh, that one is 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 neat. Once again, it's by Alex Kammer, um, who some who people may know. He's the organizer of Game Hole Con, uh, excellent writer. Um, so uh, so that is the missing pin. Moving on to the next one, Nightstone Keep. No one's ever heard of the guy who wrote this one. That's Ed Greenwood, uh, who is the uh, the creator of, of Forgotten Realms. Um, this uh, Nightstone Keep is for uh, characters fourth to sixth level, and um, I have got I have just realized that I must have accidentally duplicated the locations of the missing pin and Nightstone Keep. So um, not going to have a way of telling you where it is that uh, that Nightstone Keep is. Um, I'll, pro I, I'll probably go back and do a quick video about Nightstone Keep just to explain that, but uh, my notes are screwed up here. So um, we've got uh, the Desperation of Ivy, and Desperation of Ivy is by Lance Hovermail, um, awesome, awesome writer. Uh, it is for characters from fourth to seventh level. And uh, so that's that's interesting. That's kind of a broad range. I don't know how that's done. Haven't read the adventure itself. Um, where is that one located in the Lost Lands? First of all, what's what's happening in that one basically is that you've got um, uh, you have uh, we'll call it problems with plants in this adventure. And I'll just leave it at that. Where is this one located? Okay, this is an entirely different portion. Let me see if I can get my. Uh, my pencil out here and get this properly centered in front of the camera. What we've got here, let me see if I can get this close enough. Okay, there's old Burgundia. Let's move this around all the way to the bottom. Okay, because Lance's area is right around here. Okay, this is the Duchy of Hawkmoon, which is not actually detailed in the Borderland Provinces. Um, geographical supplement on this area, um, but it is uh, featured in several of the old Necromancer games adventures. The um, the area where this adventure happens is right here in the Cuthorn Gap, which is the road connecting the domain of Hawkmoon to um, Exeter Province in the Borderlands. Exeter Province is a, an interesting area. It's where um, uh, things are kind of falling apart, but they're not deploying their troops very well into the countryside, so the countryside's falling uh, worse and worse apart. It's kind of a patchwork. I mean, we're talking about a very, very large area, but that's the uh, sort of scenario there. In general, in the um, Sinar Coast, what you're looking at is the, a slowly retreating empire that used to control these areas and is now pulling back, and it's leaving all of these uh, areas that it used to control as kind of isolated and uh, if you take a look at the Borderland Provinces book that's the one uh, accurate to this. Um, I'll, I'll see whether we've got one in the in further to the east in the uh, Sinar Coast region because in that case it would be Cult of the Sundered Kingdoms. If you're doing Sinar Coast adventuring those are really your two key books Borderland Provinces and Cult of the Sundered Kingdoms and that's where I'm getting the, the commentary that I'm giving on these areas. That is actually uh, published material in those books. The next one that we've got listed here is Cave of Iron. That one is by Steve Winter. Uh, people who play 5th edition are going to know his name all the way back to you know people who played 1st edition are going to know his name. He's been a long, long time uh, uh, frontiersman in the, in the role-playing game industry. Here, what we've got, first of all, is a uh, it's second to fourth level. So once again, you're seeing an adventure that has a relatively um, uncomplex uh, plot line behind it, simply because you know first to fourth, second to fourth level. Uh, in this one, it is a wagon train that disappears, and you've got to find out what happened to it. So there's the elements of mystery uh, in that, and where it is located is in the easternmost reaches of Keston Province near the uh, the creeping mire 
once again. Okay, I think I'm going to have to do it from this side here. All right, so let's stabilize this, try and get it straight. really working poorly here. Pull this back. Okay. Keston Province is over on this side of the map. So, now we're able to see it. Sorry about all that. Okay, so here's Keston Province. Um, and then over next to it, here's the Creeping Mire. So, you're talking about stuff that's, you know, sort of generally in that area. Uh, that's, that's where that one is going to be located. That's Cave of Iron, and then we'll move on. Is that the last one that's in the uh, Sinar Coast area? Okay, it looks like that's the last one that's in the Sinar Coast area out of my list. So, uh, once again, it's Cave of Iron uh, by Steve Winter, The Desperation of Ivy by Lance Hovermail, uh, Ed Greenwood's um, Nightstone Keep, and I think that's all the ones that I listed. I'm sort of losing my, uh, losing my pages of paper here. The Missing Pin and Fishers of Men. Those are the, the last two that are in there. So anyway, uh, hopefully for fans of the Lost Lands, you can see where it is roughly that, that these adventures are located. Uh, a couple of them up there in the Rappanathic area, and then some of them that are down further south in the Borderland provinces where the the important theme is the, the Empire's Retreat, and you're seeing uh, more, and more, more and more chaos arising uh, in those lands. So uh, hopefully that gives you a little bit more information in terms of which of the 16 adventures in Quest of Doom 4 you're going to pick based on where it is that you want to uh, put them in your Lost Lands campaign. All of them are standalones. They don't have to be in the Lost Lands, but for people who like to know exactly where things are, that's where they are. So uh, hope you enjoy uh, the Kickstarter, or if this is after the Kickstarter, I hope that... Uh, lets you assemble your Lost Lands campaigns in a, in a useful and convenient fashion. And uh, so take the adventures and imagine the hell out of it. Pl oh, please don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. That way you're going to hear about more videos that I do. And uh, so uh, go back to the, the tagline, take it and imagine the hell out of it.